Alrighty, well, hello friends, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broom Tyogabosis here to talk with you about a setting in Zoom uh, that I was missing. And so what I've done, let's let's take a look at this. I am in the Zoom web page, right? I, I logged in, uh, you know, over here, all the good information. Um, and what, uh, in a previous video, what I was talking about is when you do a cloud recording, you can go into that um, recording file here and there are a lot of different options to pick from. And in that video, I suggested using the shared screen recording because that's going to remove any video feeds uh, and names from showing up in the recording and thus maintaining some student uh, data privacy with that one. And so, right, that's all grand, good, wonderful. But what teachers were telling me was like, Rick, I don't have that option. I don't have all the things that you have. Like, I only have these ones. It's not there. What am I supposed to do? Well, I found that that happened to me too. Uh, because if you look, right, when I look at the different recordings, uh, the first thing I noticed was like lots of files, lots of files, lot, not so many, right? So um, I did some digging. Here it is. When you go to the website uh, and you go to settings, right, we've always looked at the meeting. It's actually under this recording tab right here. And under cloud recording, yeah, I found this one was unchecked. Record active speaker, gallery view, and shared screen separately. Hmm. So I checked that little box and um, I set it to all three can be recorded. I think you could probably get away with just doing this, right? And saying just the shared screen is going to be uh, recorded separately. But if you're not sure, go ahead and just doop, doop, add all three. What the heck? You want to make sure that you save, right? Because for my screen, that was hidden. And it doesn't save unless you click save and says, your settings have been updated. And now when you go look at recordings, it's not going to like retroactively do it. But from now on, any video call that you record, and here's my proof. Look, it went from two to four. When I go and look at those, whammo, there's my shared screen, right? Um, so again, the other, the other um, videos weren't there because I didn't have any other like gallery people in this call, but uh, that is how it's going to get there. Now, because it records them separately, that does mean more files, which means more space, more uh, Zoom cloud storage being used. So you absolutely want to be sure after you download that uh, shared screen recording file and you've checked it to make sure it's a good file. It didn't corrupt in the download. Like it looks the way it should. You either want to head over to here where it says more and say, delete that recording. Or if there's a couple you do at once, you can check them and say, delete those selected because again, it's taking up more storage that way. So there you go. Again, it's under settings. You want to click on recording and make sure that under cloud recording, you're recording those screen, those uh, options separately. So there you go. I hope that helps give you that option and uh, bring some clarity to this situation. Thank you so much for your patience. If you found this video helpful, as always, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel, all that normal shameless plugging that I do. But most importantly, I want to say thank you for all your hard work. And as always, thank you for watching.